Hi, I'm Scott from the Rio Grande Tech Team, and today I'm going to show you how to program your Rio kiln. Now, if you bought a kiln in 2019 or after, uh, this is the video you'll want to use to program your kiln. If you bought a kiln prior to that, we'll have a link in the description below for the programming on that kiln. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to plug the kiln in and we need to turn it on. And we turn it on with this toggle switch in the front. Now, it'll take a few seconds to boot up and it will read idle on your screen and it'll read the ambient temperature that's inside the kiln at that moment. So we're just gonna give it a few more seconds to boot up. See, we're flashing idle and a number should pop up here in a sec. And there we go. So now we're ready to program. So the first program we're going to do is we're actually going to program it for enameling. You can use this kiln for metal clay, you can use it for enameling, you can use it for uh, wax burnout for casting. Uh, the programming uh, will, will be roughly the same, only the numbers will change. And if you want to know where to find your firing times and temperatures, those can be found on the resource center at riograndé.com. Okay, so now we're gonna do our program for our enameling. Now you can see the, I've powered on the kiln, it's reading idle, and it's reading the ambient temperature inside the kiln. So to start programming, first thing I wanna do is I wanna hit start stop. You can see from the buttons here, I've got my start stop, and my uh, higher or up arrow, and lower or down arrow for adjusting the values. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit start stop. And it's gonna ask us if we wanna use one of these pre-programmed uh, PMC programs or a custom or user-defined. So we wanna do a user-defined because we're doing an enameling run. So I'm gonna hit either, I'm gonna hit the up arrow to select user. Now in this screen, you don't wanna use the down arrow just yet. Uh, we're only going to select between these two using the up arrow, and I'll show you why here in just a few minutes. So we've got our user-defined program, so I'm going to hit start, stop again. And here's where I can select the program number. Now, I can use the up arrow or down arrow. You have 25 programs to choose from. So for this one, I'm going to choose program 7, and I'm going to hit start, stop. Now, the first thing it's going to ask for is the ramp rate. That's how fast it's going to climb to our target temperature. So if we use the arrows to set a value, like in this instance, we'll say 150, the kiln will ramp to our target temperature at a rate of 150 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. When you have a value in here, that's always in degrees per hour. But for this instance, since I'm doing enameling, I just want it to ramp as fast as it can possibly go. So the way I do that is I get down to zero and I hit the down arrow one more time. And that will give us a full ramp to our target temperature. So I've got full set, so I'm going to hit start, stop again. And now it's going to ask for our target temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to use either the up arrow or the down arrow. And as you can see, if I press, the, press and hold the button in, uh, it will climb much faster. And since we're doing enameling, I think I'm going to bring it up to about 1450. 1450. So I've got my target temperature set, and now I'm going to hit start, stop again. And now it's going to ask for our hold times. So how long do we want to hold at 1450? And since I'm enameling, I just I want it to hold most of the day, so I can I can do what I need to do and then I can stop the program when I'm ready. So I'm gonna set it for eight hours. And as you can see with hold times, 
it's hours on the left and minutes on the right. So I've got it set for eight hours. Now I'm going to hit start stop again. And it's immediately going back to ramp, ramp two. So it's asking us if we want to ramp to a different temperature. Now in this instance, we don't need to do that. So the way that we stop the program there is under this next ramp, we'll have it set to zero. And then when we hit start stop again, you'll see that it says start. So our program is ready to go, but we do have one more thing that we have to do. So once you get to the start screen, I want you to go ahead and start the program. Uh, it will ask you if you want to do a delay. Uh, this comes in handy if you're running wax burnouts, but for enameling, we don't need that, so we're going to leave that at zero. And I'm going to hit start stop again. Now, once it says on, that means it's going to start the program. And here in a few seconds, you'll see this run light light up, and you'll hear the heating element click on. There it is. So now it's going to start climbing in temperature. Once you've heard that heating element click on, hit the start stop button one more time to stop the program. And you can see it says abort, which means we've stopped the program. I'm going to hit start stop one more time, and that'll get me back to the beginning at the idle screen. Now, there's a reason why we went ahead and started the program. And what that does is think of it like clicking save on your computer. By starting the program, you are saving your program into the internal memory inside this kiln. And now we can check it to make sure that everything's okay. So the way we do that is we're going to hit start stop. We're back at our idle screen, so we can hit start stop and get to user. Now here, remember how we said only use the up arrow here. Once we get to user, we're going to hit the down arrow to do a program review. So when I hit the down arrow, program seven, we didn't have a delay. We're doing a full ramp to 1450 and we're holding for eight hours. And that's how to quickly review what the last program was on your kiln. So we're gonna start that program. We don't need a delay. And if I was doing some enameling now, I could, I could go ahead and leave this on and it would ramp up to temperature. However, we're gonna do one more program. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop this program and get back to the idle screen. Okay, so for the next one, we're actually gonna do a casting burnout. Uh, and this will be a bit more involved. We're gonna be using multiple ramp rates, temperatures, and times. Uh, but the repetition will actually uh, help solidify it a little bit. So we're back to the idle screen, uh, and it, it's reading the target temp or the ambient temperature inside the kiln. So first thing we can do is hit start stop. We're still on user, which is good. So we can go ahead and hit start stop again. Now program seven was my enameling program, so I don't want to overwrite that. So I'm going to go to the next program and I'm going to select eight and I'm going to hit start stop again. So again, the first thing it's going to ask for is our ramp rate. So for this, I'm going to ramp a full ramp as fast as it can. And I'm going to hit start stop again. And now it's asking for my target temperature. So I'm going to set my target temperature to 300 degrees. And once I have my target temperature, I can hit start stop again. Now it's going to ask for my hold time again. Hold one, because this is the first ramp we're doing. And I'm going to set this to two hours. Okay, we've got it set for two hours. So I'm going to hit start stop again. Now it's asking for my second ramp, RA2. How fast do we want to ramp up to the next temperature? 
So I'm going to set this to I'm going to set this to 540 degrees. Okay, so we've got a ramp rate of 540, which means it's going to ramp at 540 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. So I can hit start stop to go to the next one. And now it wants to know my next target temperature. So I'm going to bring that up to 700 degrees. Okay, we're at our next target temperature, 700 degrees. So I can hit start stop again. And it's asking for my second hold. So now I'm going to set that for two hours as well. Okay, got our second hold for two hours. I can hit start stop again. Now it's asking for my third ramp. Again, it's asking for ramp rate, target temperature, and hold times over and over again. So now we're on our third ramp. So again, I'm going to do a ramp rate of 540 degrees. There we go, 540 degrees. So I can hit start stop again. And my third temperature is, I want to set it to 1350. Now watch this. Now if I hit the down arrow, I can actually start from the top and go down if I've got to reach a really high temperature. So I want to set this to 1350. Okay, 1350 for our target temperature. Now I'm going to hit start stop again and asking for our third hold time. So I'm going to set this to three hours. Okay, we're at three hours. I can hit start stop again. And now it's asking for our fourth ramp. Now I'm going to ramp down to a thousand. So I'm actually going to ramp full down to a thousand because you can ramp down with either full or a value. So if I set this to say 150, then it will ramp down at 150 degrees per hour as well. So those ramp rates work both ways. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and set it to full. And again, I go down to zero and hit the down arrow one more time to get to full. And then I hit start stop. My target temperature, I'm going to set that to 1000. And again, we'll hold the button down to go as fast as we can. And this is going to be the last ramp for my wax burnout. Okay, so we're at 1,000. And I'm going to hit start stop again. And our last hold time, <clears throat> I'm going to give myself plenty of time. I only need to hold at, for a few hours, but I'm going to give myself a bit extra time just so I have plenty of time to do my casting. So I'm going to set it for eight hours. So I've got my eight hours set for hold four. Now I'm going to hit start stop again. And now it's asking if I want to do another ramp. Uh, in this case, I don't need to. I've already done my burnouts and I want it to hold at that last temperature. So I'm going to leave this ramp rate at zero and I'm going to hit start stop. So we're back to the start menu. So we've completed inputting the program into the kiln. And the last thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and start the program. We're not going to be using a delay. So I'm going to hit start stop again. Now that it says on, it's about to start running the program and you can see the light came on and the kiln clicked on. So I've saved my program into this kiln. So I can hit start stop to abort that and I can hit it one more time to get back to the idle screen. So now my wax burnout has been saved in the internal memory of this kiln. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check it. So we're back at the idle screen reading the ambient temperature, I'm going to hit start stop. And here, remember on the user screen, if we want to do a program review, we just hit the down arrow one time. So we had zero delay. We were ramping full to 300 and holding for two hours. And then ramping 540 degrees per hour to 700 and holding two hours. And then again, ramping 540 degrees per hour to 1350 and holding for three hours. And then ramping full down to 1000 and holding 
for eight hours. So now it's back to the start menu, so this program is ready to go. And all I have to do is hit the start stop button. It'll ask for the delay if you want one. And if you don't, just go ahead and hit start stop. So now it will start running the program. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us.